फ्रेंड्स वेलकम अगेन टू माय चैनल ऑर्गेनिक एंड हाइड्रोपोनिक अर्बन ग्रो ग्रो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट ग्रोइंग जिंजर इनटू हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम फॉर ग्रोइंग जिंजर इनटू हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम वी मस्ट यूज अ मीडिया नाउ द जिंजर इज अ ट्यूबर क्रॉप एंड फॉर दैट रीजन वी कैन नॉट यूज द अदर हाइड्रोपोनिक सिस्टम लाइक एन एफ और वाटर कल्चर फॉर ग्रोइंग दिस ट्यूबर Yes we can use the aeroponic system it has a successful growing of the ginger but the aeroponic system is a much more complicated and costlier into design so we are going to grow ginger into our this media beds here we have a coco peat as a media you can also use perlite vermiculite or clay balls as a media instead of the coco peat but our beds are prepared with a coco peat so we are going to use uh, this coco peat grow bed for growing this ginger tuber so today in this video i am going to explain in detail how you can start your ginger growing into this media beds i will also share you what is the distance to be maintained and what are the size of the tuber we can use and what type of output we can expect from this system of the hydroponic so all that information i'm going to share this into this video so to know everything in detail please stay connected to the video till the end let's start this video so friends ginger is a tuber crop and the ginger can be propagated through its all season tuber only for that we need to store some healthy and pulp tuber into our store and we should use this tuber as a seed for growing the ginger now first we must talk about the sowing time now ginger is a sensitive crop and we must put it into soil once the rain se rainy season is start or the moisture arrive into the atmosphere it is also to ensure that temperature goes little down below 35 degree centigrade and that will provide the good condition for the growing of the ginger i am going to grow ginger with pre sprouted condition and it is very easy to pre sprout the ginger as soon as the monsoon is started we have this ginger seed keep with us we have put this ginger seed in the much aerated basket and regularly moisten this seed after a couple of days this seeds are now started sprouting and if i show you the sprouting you can see this this is how it has started sprouting here is the new sprout over here so now we can use this seed this will give us the guarantee for this seed to germinate without fail now ginger is a delicate crop and it will be easily get rotten with the fungus or the excess of the water so this system of pre sprouting pre sprouting will also help us have a 100% rate of the germination for extra precaution we can treat this seed with the trichoderma also so what we have done we have prepared this seed pre germinated condition and now we are going to treat this seed with the trichoderma but before seeding uh, before treatment we have cut down this seed to the required size so here are the seed which are 40 50 grams if we are planning to do it into soil we can keep the tuber size around 20 to 25 grams but in hydroponic we are going to keep it only 10 to 12 grams with certain assumptions so we have cut down these seeds into 10 to 20 12 grams after that cutting we can add some trichoderma powder to these seeds like this and just coat them well like so that all the sides of the tuber will cover with this trichoderma and this will protect this tuber in the initial stage from the fungus and other rotting so once we prepare this seeds we can do the sowing now the spacing in the tuber size now as i have said you 
the we are using 10 to 12 grams the logic behind that is that ginger has a potential to multiply 8 to 10 times when we sow it into the soil so if we put 1 kg seed into soil we can get 8 to 10 kg of ginger at the end of the season but in hydroponic it is assumed that ginger will have a higher productivity and we assume that ginger will multiply 15 to 20 times so instead of having that big ginger size we have cut down the seeds ensuring that one to two sprouting nodes on each of the seed with the 10 to 10 grams and when it grows to 15 to 20 times it will end up around 150 to 200 grams of ginger per plant so with that logic we have made this seed around 10 to 12 grams now at the time of sowing after the treatment at the time of sowing we will maintain certain distance and depth of the seed which I will show you into the further part of the video so now we will start our sowing work now for sowing if you see this grow bed is around one and a half feet wide what we will do we will keep three inch distance each side so we will get around one feet distance in between the tubers we will also maintain one feet distance between the line so this is where we will get around one square feet of space for each of the tuber to grow now first what we will do we will place this tuber like this at one feet each then next stage what we will do we will put zigzag pattern so the each tuber will have a more space to grow so I will put one in between this so one in between this so this is how this will get the more space for grow so this tuber will get this much space to grow this tuber will get this much space to grow this tuber will get this much space to grow so this is how we can increase the space within the bed for each of the plant once we settle all these tubers like this then we'll start the sowing work now sowing is very simple when we start sowing we need to make a hole with the around two inch size if you see this tuber of the ginger is around half inch so we will put it at around two to three times the depth so what we'll do we'll make the small hole equivalent to the size of this tuber around two inch deep we'll place this tuber into this into horizontal position and cover it with this same media so here we have maintained three inch distance here we have maintained one feet distance line to line is a one feet and this is how we will complete the sewing so so once the sewing is complete then we need to give the water regularly but right now we have moistened this cocoa pit before so up till the germination we will not give any water unless it is very dry once it is germinated we will start giving water in a small quantity not to over water it with that water we will also supply the hydroponic nutrient for its growth which are very light in nature so we will maintain around 800 to 1000 TDS of the water and with the slightly acidic pH and the general nutrition we are going to use for growing this ginger only care we need to take is some support if required we will do the support then ginger will grow it automatically so this is the way you can grow this ginger into hydroponic grow bed system with the cocoa pit very easily now if you are interested in growing turmeric and purple yam i have already put the video before for which i will give you the link but you can see the result of that now the these are the purple yam these are the turmeric and you can see the good germination and good growth of this plant we have planted this into the month of june and here is the good result with the hydroponic media bed system so you can also plant your ginger turmeric or purple yam growing into hydroponic system this way and get the good healthy tuber readily available for eating normally the ginger will get ready after seven months you can dig out few plants and 
consume it but for fully maturation it will take 9 to 10 months you need to wait for 9 to 10 months for getting it fully mature but you can start consuming it by 7 to 8 months so plan your ginger hydroponic way and have a fresh ginger regularly into from your garden happy going